Today, we discuss Miro. Listen, when it comes to running client workshops, the dream, of course, is to get those creative juices flowing, right? But typically what ends up happening is thousands of hours get wasted because of poorly facilitated meetings. So I have Maya with me today. She's a consultant who runs Fortune 100 workshops from leadership training to team building, and she has the insider tip on what makes things work. Maya? Thank you, Jason. I've been doing this a long time. My number one tip is to bring everyone into that visual collaboration platform. So personally, I use Miro and it's completely changed how I interact with the room. You have to give people a way to feel like they're in the room, even when they're not. That's something you can do easily in Miro. Otherwise, they've seen the same slides and format a thousand times. Falling asleep, eyes glazing over, yawns, all that. Exactly. When people follow me on the Miro board, everyone is literally going on a journey with me. We're adding thoughts, we're reacting, and we're voting for the best ideas. It's great. Connective magic. I like it. That's M I R O dot com. Uncle Duke has seen just about everything that there is to see there, little Missy. Has been around the world dozens of times and has stared death right in the face. On this episode of the commercial break. And we never got to choose what we were. Oh, well, yeah. She would just tell us who we were. Yeah, we really did. Like, you know, I'd be a pumpkin. You're a Tootsie Roll. Yeah. (laughs) Here, be a farmer. Or three years in a, a row, farmer. I was a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking hobo. The entire time we were at that fucking insane Claire channel, everyone uh, thought that we were having I babies. Know, know. And I'm like, no, we're just friends. I saw you on the Ferris wheel. I heard you on the Ferris wheel. It wasn't the love, Tom. <laughs> yeah, I'm Shit. like, dude, she wasn't <laughs> sucking my dick. We went on the Ferris wheel. Hey, it's me, Frankie. I'm just leaving you another message. I'm over here on the other side of the bar, and they actually won't let me in the VIP area. Can you come over here? I thought we were hanging out. Okay, bye. The next episode of The Commercial Break starts now. Cats and kittens, welcome back to the commercial break. I'm Brian Green. This is my dear friend and co-host, Kristen Joy. Hold the best you, Chris. And best you, Brian. And best you out there in the podcast universe. How the hell are you? Thanks for joining us on yet another episode of this, the commercial break. Hey, it's not for everyone, but fact, news, or fiction is guaranteed in 30 seconds or less. Or your money back. Go to the TCBpodcast.com website to collect your earnings. Welcome back to the studio, Miss Kristen well, Joy Hoadley. thank you for having me back. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. <laughs> now my car payment depends on it, so... <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're looped in here. I love every I'm minute a, of it. I was thinking about taking out insurance on each other. That's yeah. what we should do. Well, yeah. I mean, now we're making, what, $37 a month? Exactly. It's big money. Big we, money. Big, big money. money. Big money. Whammy, no, no whammy. <laughs> Did you know I auditioned for that show? What? I auditioned for the new version of that show during the pand- uh right before the pandemic. <laughs> And it was the most surreal experience. Really? I got to... Yeah, how did you audition for that? So I, so over the years, I don't, I don't know how this happened. I'm really not <laughs> sure. It, it had nothing to do with me reaching out to anybody. But over the years, I was propositioned a couple times by uh, reality television show companies to do a reality television <laughs> show based on real estate. And I was oh. like, fuck no. <laughs> okay. Fuck no. I'm really yeah. bad at that. Like, I'm not going to show everybody how bad I am at real estate. But I would recommend them to other people. Okay. And I get this email one time saying, you should try out for Press Your Luck. Press Your Luck. And That's so right. I did. I, like, filled out this application. You know, uh, Astrid and I, I, I'll never forget this. We were at Disney World, go figure. <laughs> And at, we got this email, and Astrid's like, you should do this. Like, do this. I fill out the application. Game shows are fun. And two weeks later, they they hit me back. You have been selected. And we had to put together a video and write an essay and the whole nine yards. It felt like applying for college, and I hated that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I uh, so I filled out this, this essay. They write me back. They say, you have now got a interview with the executive producer wow. of Press Your Luck. Wow. Beyond this Skype call, fucking Skype call, between this time and that time, you got to be there promptly. You got to be ready. Come with your personality. It, it was so like, you know, I know here at the commercial break, I feel very uh, safe. I'm like in the tree of yeah, trust. we're in the bubble. I'm in the nesting bubble, right? right. I know that, you know, I, <laughs> exactly. I'm right under your bird breast and I'm not going to, you're not going to let me fall. That's right. Yes. I will never you won't let, let me fall out of the nest. It's like me not. trying to save those little baby birds that one exactly. time from the snake. <laughs> But this made me extraordinarily nervous, and of I don't course. really know why, but I worked myself up into such a tizzy 
that by the, by the time I got on this Skype phone call, first of all, my Skype ended up like totally shitting the bed. Oh, of course right? it did. And the of executive course. producer was pissed off from the beginning. She was like, you couldn't be in a, you couldn't fix your fucking internet before you came on. <laughs> it's your one chance. But then she's You're like. You're pressing your luck, Brian. I know. She's like, now you have to know that at Press Your Luck, we really want everybody excited all the time. So I want you to bring your excitement, right? <laughs> bring your best excitement. Happy, joyful, you know, screaming, yelling. Okay, now, Brian. Pretend like you just won ten thousand dollars on you know you missed the whammy and you pre- uh, and you won ten thousand dollars. How would you react? And I was like, I just felt so manufactured. I was like, Yay, yay! I can feed my family Woo! now. Yeah, we can move out of the we can move out of the cardboard box. And she was like, Is that the best you got? And I was like, Did you just ask me if that's the best that I got? She did. And I, at that point, I just turned off by the whole thing. I was like, you know what? Yeah. Fuck all this. I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> and that disappointed Astrid because we really needed the money. <laughs> she was like, what the fuck were you doing? I was like, babe, I just didn't feel comfortable. It was two weeks after that failed interview that Astrid came home, said, I bought camera on Amazon. I bought a camera and a microphone on Amazon or I'm buying one and you're going to do a podcast, nice. a podcast, right? Yeah. And Astrid I was like, was yeah, the, the seed. Of she the was the seed. one who yes. started all of this bullshit. So you can thank her for three episodes a week and you're fucking Apple downloads. <laughs> By the way, we asked the question, who's keeping up with the commercial break? And we got a few responses. Really? There are a couple of people who are keeping up with the commercial They're current. break. They're, They're current. current. One okay. of those was Tina, who's uh, helps us out with content occasionally here on the show. Good friend of ours long before the, the show. Ever yes. started. But she said she is on top of it. One hundred percent. Thanks, Tina. She says it's her favorite day of the week when she knows there's an episode of the commercial break. <laughs> and sometimes Apple doesn't like she opens our Apple and it hasn't been pushed to her yet. Yes. And she's like, so I'll have to go to another too. podcast player to listen to it. So thanks, everybody, for listening to the commercial break. This was sad, sad news today as the commercial breaks. <laughs> last episode is being recorded. Right. Now we're going to true crime. <laughs> we're going to true crime. We're going to do. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, what are we going to do? We're going to do the whispering. <laughs> right. The ASMR. We're going to do ASMR from yeah. from now on. Yeah, maybe that'll make us some money. Anyway, going to take out some insurance on you. You Perfect. know, it's my least favorite time of the year, Halloween. I just thought I'd mention. <laughs> oh, just I love Halloween. I know you do. I love I Halloween. I hate it. I've always hated it. I don't like, I mean, I like it now that the ki- now that I have kids. Yes. Because it's cute to watch them get dressed it up. It really is. Down in the town where I live, <laughs> they have this annual parade that's been going on for literally 70 years. And what it is, is the local, whatever, the mayor, the senator, the the high school bands, they all go down the street. There's one street in the center of town. And then the tradition has grown over the years that you throw candy yeah. out onto the sidewalk, right? We've got that in our neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Down. Downtown. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's very similar, but much more family focused here. Right. I know that one you're at. And that's like. <laughs> <laughs> the costumes get a little it, yeah. wild. Here's some <laughs> Trolls gummy bears and my kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is awesome when you're it a is. single adult. Uh, <laughs> but this one's family focused. And I got to say, there are so many fucktards in this. I mean, Chrissy, <laughs> there are children of all types and the sizes and shapes and colors and they're all sitting there waiting patiently for, for that candy for to be candy, thrown out. Right. And there's a lot of candy that gets thrown out. Like mm-hmm. you could go there and literally come home with a garbage bag worth of candy. And I think a lot of people do. This is how they get their Halloween candy to give to the oh, children. to give out. Yeah, yeah. Because there's hundreds of floats and everybody has buckets full of candy and they just throw it out in the street nonstop. Yeah, recycle it. It hits you in the head. It hits you in the eye. <laughs> it gets you in the nuts. I mean, they're like, it's some of the, like the high school football players are <laughs> the quarterbacks, like darting to, it just, at people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> trying to hit people. But what really chaps my balls. Uh, this episode brought to you by Shave My Balls. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy's Christmas gift to Jeff. Right. Shave My Balls. Talcum powder. Uh, what really gets me going is when I see the adults fighting the children oh, for fucking candy. Yeah, no, that's I mean, come ridiculous. on. It's like that guy who cut in front of my son at, on the waterside right, park. Yeah. It's like, really, dude? I realize you're a cheap bastard and you don't want to buy, you know, Halloween candy for the kids that come to your door. So you're you're banking on this to be the one time a year you can get free candy to hand out to the kids. But do you really have to fight someone for a no, fucking titsy roll? You do not. There was this one guy and he's running all over the street, like jumping in front of children, gra- gabbing, grabbing candy. And I, I just wanted to go and kick him in the head. Like, dude, you just stop. Rev down. Rev down. Yeah. But he wasn't the only one. There's other adults that are doing this, and I just don't get what gets into people's brains sometimes. I mean, people can be the worst. They don't sometimes. have children. That's my guess. Okay. They don't have children. <laughs> yeah. And that right. brings me to my second 
most hated or part they of Halloween. Do, and their children are going to be in major therapy later. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> do you think do you think adults should be knocking on doors and going trick or treating? No, no. And but there's a whole phenomenon that goes on every Halloween that adults. So we're talking about people that are 21 years of age and older that go dressed up and knock on doors and trick or treat. Go get drunk at a party like ev- Fuck, all, everybody grow up. else. Yeah, go take some ecstasy and some, fall down yeah, drunk. Jello shots. Some hunky ladies <laughs> laugh. I mean, come on. This is what you do. Yeah. You go to the Martins party. The That's Martins. what you do. You go to the Martins party. The Martins. You I bet go have n- a raging Halloween party. I just, you. oh yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised the Martins haven't gone to jail, actually, <laughs> speaking of that. <laughs> We've now had two people that have commented that they have bet they think they have been to the Martins okay. party. Maybe there's the Martins in a lot of different towns. Yeah, but I got I to gotta clarify something just so just <laughs> the Martins. Yeah, I, I I don't know if they think that the Martins is a pseudonym. So they are saying they have they think they've been to this party. But it's not the actual Martins. The, it's a different name. It's actually a different name, yeah. But I am naming the name that was given to us in there. So I don't know if it's a pseudonym or not. Okay. It could be the Martins. It could be they somebody were else. They were Martin-esque. <laughs> but can you imagine having like 300 young, drunk teenagers at your house no. and getting away with it in this no. day and age? No. No, not here in Atlanta. You'd, no. you'd be with a lickety split in that Cobb County pokey for sure. <laughs> yeah. But if they threw a Halloween party... That, you know it would rage. The teachers would come with all their ecstasy and right. well, give it to the students. Happened. That's what happened. <laughs> that's still the weirdest story to me that we've gotten. Still the strangest story. Like for those of you who haven't listened, go listen to the episode. Uh, what, it's something about the Martins. One house. million. Okay. <laughs> so 364,000. They keep coming. But we got a guy who told us a story about how he had a girlfriend. That girlfriend had an aunt. The aunt came in town to live with the family. She got a part-time job as a... Um, as substitute. a substitute teacher in the school, they went to an after prom party or an after uh, homecoming party at a house that was notorious for throwing these parties where adults and children would mix and drink and have fun after the homecoming. And he ended up sleeping <laughs> with his girlfriend's <laughs> aunt and getting her pregnant. Yes. Now, we don't know the validity of this story. I'm not here. To, I'm not an investigative journalist. I'm not a journalist of any sort, really. But I it's see, still the I wildest story. It. I can see it happening. Yeah. I mean, that stuff's on TV all the time. And Maury Povich built a whole career right. on this. Yeah. I mean, Jerry, Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Yep. Yeah, but I told you, like, even, even Jerry Springer, <laughs> like, they'd let anything fly in the Jerry Springer show. Almost none of that stuff was, was true. true. Yeah, people would just tell a story to the producer, or the producer would tell a story to the person because when I, we had friends that were on the Jer, on the Jerry Springer show, and when they told this story, the producer made no effort to, to corroborate this story. Yeah. yeah, and then right before they got on air, the producer was urging them to make it more crazy. Sure. Like, are you sure you didn't sleep with his mom? Also, and the girl was like, "Uh, no." And he's like, "But it wouldn't be bad if you did." Like that, the crowd would eat it up. You should just say that anyway. And so Jerry Springer was really like, he was just manufacturing stories out of oh, there, yeah. which probably yeah. our TCB listeners are also doing. <laughs> I would say They're so. looking for their moment, in, <laughs> their moment in the spotlight. Send your stories to tcbpodcast.com or six six one two three seven eight two nine six. They're entertaining. This episode brought to you by the Commercial Break. It's a great comedy <laughs> podcast. <laughs> oh yeah, Halloween irks me because. I, because I, because of of um, adults fighting children for candy, or just in no, general? I just think in general. I don't. I never really mm-hmm. liked it. I, okay. I never really liked like getting dressed. Oh, I, I love liked, dressing up. I liked the mischief of the night when I was a teenager. Yeah, I liked like you know <laughs> throwing eggs in people's cars. <laughs> oh no, stuff like that. <laughs> I like doing th- illegal things on Halloween night, okay. but I never really cared to get dressed up. And I think it stems back from my mother, who God bless her soul, would always. And we never not, got. To, she's not dead. No, she's not dead. No, but, no, but I said gospel. But God bless her soul. And you know, in case she dies in between here and the <laughs> here and the broadcasting of this episode. Okay, I just want to clear that up. She made our costumes uh, herself. Yeah, and we never got to choose what we. Oh uh, well, yeah. She would just tell us who we from were. the beginning. Yeah, we really did. Like you know, I'd be like a pumpkin, you're a tootsie roll. A f- yeah, here, be a farmer. Or three years in a, a row, farmer. I was a hobo. <laughs> Oh, fucking hobo. I had like this. Ah, oh, it's me. <laughs> They're not feeding me at the house. 
<laughs> Did you have like a stick? Yes, with a I had bag a stick with head. a bag on it, and that was the entire costume. <laughs> and it was, it was like a just little a like, black dust on yes. your face. Yes, my mom like covered <laughs> me in dust. First of all, it was horribly. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it was just bad. It was just all around bad. Oh, no. She put me in a pair of overalls and she covered me with some dirt. <laughs> she threw a stick on my back. And then she had me one year put a piece of straw in my mouth. <laughs> like it was a cigarette. And I'm sure she thought it was the cutest thing in the world. But three years in the in the in a row, while well, all my friends were like, you know, ET phone home or whatever, right. or Superman, S- Star Wars, or, yes. you know, uh, yeah. yes. you know, Luke Skywalker, the Darth Vader. <laughs> I was a hobo, a hobo. <laughs> and then one year she made me Dracula, but she put me in like a three piece tuxedo. <laughs> <laughs> that she made herself. Like okay. she went and bought the fabric yeah. and she made it herself, which, hey, listen, you know, kudos to my kudos mom. Kudos to that. Yeah. I think my grandma helped out a little bit. But then what she did is she put white shoe polish all over my face <laughs> and bright red, red lipstick. Red lips. <laughs> and then she had me put those fake teeth in. Oh, yeah. You know, and the pictures are just awful. I just look <laughs> awful. I just look like a child Miserable. that's been neglected. Yeah. I was, I was not having it. Uh, one of my favorite memories of the Halloween, I think I was like in seventh grade, I was a, a magician. And oh. the the pinnacle of my outfit was this beautiful, God, I wish I could find it again. It was a beautiful glitter top hat. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And I had this red cape and a leotard on and fishnet hose. I was rocking the neighborhood as a magician. You loved it, right? Loved it. You loved it. Yeah, I loved it. Because so. you like playing dress up. Mm-hmm. But I don't I never like paying dress up. I think... I think it stems from never having control over what I was dressing right. up as. <laughs> and the I would worst, say so. And the worst part was I was a fucking twin. So, yeah. of course, Kevin and I had to go the same <laughs> thing as everything. Twin hobos. Yeah. Twin hobos. <laughs> like poor little twin. <laughs> Those greens. What's going on over that house? <laughs> oh. Oh, poor Kevin and Brian. <laughs> Kevin and Brian, come up here. <laughs> Let me give you some Show the kids. Show. What are you? <laughs> what are you? I'm not really sure. I, the thing was, I didn't even know what a hobo was. Right. I had no idea, yeah. right? So I was like, a hobo? <laughs> a what? <laughs> a hobo? Oh, oh poor well. Kevin and Brian. Hopefully you can make new memories now with the kids. I love the kids. We got them exactly what they wanted. We asked them. Sully and Mike Wazowski, you know, Mike Wazowski and Sully from Monsters, Inc. Oh, okay. And they yeah. have been running around for weeks oh, in those very costumes. very exciting. Every night. They're very doing exciting. every night. They're yes. running around and they're playing the games. And I just love it. So for that reason, I'm finding a way to fall in love with Halloween in general. But I still have kind of these, like, I, I just dismiss it in general. I ne- as if, Before I had children, I never really gave a shit about Halloween. Like, I feel like we went to some Halloween parties back in the day. I feel like I don't remember any of those parties <laughs> we, we went to. Well, that's, Did we go to a Halloween it could party? be Halloween or not. You know we where we went. It. We went to the haunted house oh, one time. We did do the haunted house. That went to was the haunted fun. house. And then yeah. there's like those haunted forests. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we like went the- to the haunted house and I remember holding on to Hoadley for dear life. <laughs> I, <laughs> I lead the scared. charge at those yeah, haunted You were houses. going. I love and I was them. like, ah! Well, usually, uh, I'll give you a tip. Usually, the person in the front of the line doesn't, doesn't get, get the scariest That's right. part. They wait until the line comes around and then jump out the I didn't know that because yeah. I dislike Halloween. My first of all, my parents would never let me go to one of those things as a oh, child. Yeah. So, that was one of my first haunted houses ever. Like, real deal. You, you never went to, like, the Ripley's, World. Ripley's Haunted House? There's one of those. Mm. They had one in Gatlinburg, and we used to live near yeah, there. Yeah, I so. mean, I've been to Ripley's, believe it or not. Right, you know, the museum. The museum. Thing. But, but I never had, went to the haunted they house. They had the haunted house. I went to like the, you know, the tunnel of love type stuff that they had at Six Flags, <laughs> you know, the boat ride. Oh, Six Flags during Halloween. Whoa, Fright, Fright, Fright Fest. Fest. Fright Fest. I made Jeff go one year. You know, they had to close, you know, they had to close down that, that tunnel of love ride because people, like too many people were getting pregnant. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm I mean, serious. Wow. They had a whole, like, whole controversy about just what? it was. How Kids were jumping time? on and off the ride, and people were having <laughs> sex in the back of the boats. It was getting a little too out of control, uh, so they had to close that ride because it was becoming a public safety I issue. Love Fright Fest. I made Jeff go in uh, here, and uh, he. This is when we were first dating. He didn't quite alert me to his fear of roller coasters and heights, and I made him go on all of guy. it. I think we got <laughs> stuck on one too. And I was like, "What?" I can just see Jeff. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Finally, by the end. 
of it, he was like, just go. Honey. Just go. Just, just you go. go. You yeah. do it. I'll watch. <laughs> you know, that's weird. Ask, like, I, I love roller coasters. I, and I have too. a horrible fear of heights, but I you couldn't. If As long as I know that I'm safely secure somewhere, yeah. I'll go along for the ride and I just have so much fun on it. And Astrid and I were big roller coaster lovers together until we went to Europa Park, which Europa okay. Park, imagine Disney World. But everything is knocked. Light. Yeah, it's everything is knocked off. So they have like minus. Mickey Mouse and they have Disney Euro minus. Rat. Like, <laughs> Disney minus. They, yeah, Disney minus. They have like you know Donald Duck. They have quack quack quack. Like they have like these. Weird, they're all the same. Knock off. But stuff. the thing is, is the park is big and it is beautiful, and they have hotels and resorts that are attached to it, and it's in the middle of nowhere, Germany. And I mean the middle of nowhere, Germany. Oh, it's okay. like in a farming it's in town. But it's wonderful. And anyway, we it's. Fucking freezing when we get to this Europa Park. We're driving there from Switzerland. We get there at night. We're going to go during the day. But we decide, hey, if we're here and you stay at the hotel, you kind of get like a park entrance, right? We're here. It's nighttime. Let's go. We'll ride a couple roller coasters. The park is open. It's 38 degrees outside. It's freezing (laughs) fucking cold. And we go on a couple of these roller coasters. And there was one roller coaster that kind of like did a couple of uh, corkscrews. Yeah. I loved it. And Astrid felt nauseous afterwards. And she has never liked roller coasters yeah. since. She's like, every time I go on one, it just makes me well, nauseous. You and I, Brian. Let's go together, back kid. To the coaster. Yeah, but actually, I don't think we can ride the coaster together because if both <laughs> of us die in a wreck, then <laughs> then we're fucked with the what commercial break. What was that break. one thing that we went to where we rode rides together? It was like a, a radio promotion. Oh thing god. We, we <laughs> oh, we caused quite a stir. We on did that cause one. Quite yeah. a stir. <laughs> we <laughs> we went to a carnival. Yeah. And Chrissy and I were. Drinking. I had just gotten a divorce. Yes. Or I was maybe not even a divorce. I was separated at the time. And Chrissy and I were went on the Ferris wheel together. Yes. And when we got off the Ferris right. wheel, before we even our feet even hit the ground, we were having sex. Chrissy was pregnant. We got right, married. Yeah, like that, I mean, it that's was, what the rumor was. The rumor yeah. was crazy. And it never left. It, it never did. left. The entire time we were at that fucking insane Claire channel, everyone thought that we were having uh, babies. Know. And I'm like, no, we're just friends. I saw you on the Ferris wheel. I heard you on the Ferris wheel. It wasn't the love tunnel. Yeah, I'm like, dude, she wasn't sucking my dick. We went on the Ferris wheel. You people have too much time on your hands. Get a life. Those rumors. Speaking of getting a life, you know, and I know, that we made a promise to the audience that we were going to (laughs) Off doing Frankie B videos. Well, we break promises all the time. All to the, the time. Audience. Yeah, we, that's <laughs> fact, news, or fiction. In 30 Whatever seconds happened to the list. summer games? It's now fall. Uh, <laughs> we played some summer games. I don't even want to get into it. Okay. Let's not even get into it. Just don't go there. Just know that anytime we have to move outside of the technical abilities of doing this right here, yes. we fuck up, man. It all goes to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> Hey, everybody, it's that time in the commercial break when we take a short commercial break. You know the drill by now, so I'm not going to drag on. DCBpodcast.com is where you go if you want to watch any of the videos or listen to any of the audio of our entire library. Hit the Contact Us form and email us content ideas, questions, concerns, or comments. 661-237-8296. That's 661-BEST-2-YO. Send us a text message. It's not a spam text message line. We will reply. YouTube.com slash the commercial break is where you find our video version it's completely different than the audio version please hit subscribe and like on your favorite video make sure you use those specialized urls and codes from our sponsors they give you free shit and we certainly would appreciate it rate us and review us on your favorite podcast player and know that we're grateful for every one of you now let's hear from those sponsors and then we'll quickly be back to this episode of the commercial break Hey, everybody, got to let you know about our sponsor, American Musical Supply. We're a musical household here at Casa de Green, and that means lots and lots of instruments laying around the house. Drums, guitars, piano, you name it, we've got it. And that's why I'm excited to partner with American Musical Supply, because they have everything our family will need for our growing musical appetites. American Musical Supply stocks the latest and greatest gear from today's top brands. Everything for beginner to seasoned professionals. Everything from the podcaster, that's me, to recording enthusiasts 
enthusiasts, that's me, guitarist, drummer, vocalist, DJ, and much more, all of it is me. And American Musical Supply has the best payment plans, too. They approve more people, and they don't require me to open up a credit card. They just use the one I've got. So go to AmericanMusical.com and use the commercial break promo code TCB to receive $20 off your purchase of over $100. That's AmericanMusical.com and use the commercial break promo code TCB to receive $20 off that first purchase of over $100. We've been checking out the website, and I think the next purchase around this house is going to be a good pair of earplugs. AmericanMusical.com. Use the code TCB, and thanks to American Musical Supply for becoming a sponsor of The Commercial Break. Why don't more infant formula companies use organic, grass-fed whole milk instead of skim? Why don't more infant formula companies use the latest breast milk science? Why don't more infant formula companies run their own clinical trials? Why don't more infant formula companies use more of the proteins found in breast milk? Why don't more infant formula companies have their own factories instead of outsourcing their manufacturing? We wondered the same thing. So we made Byheart, an infant formula company on a mission to get a lot closer to the most super, super food on the planet, breast milk. Our patented protein blend has more of the important and most abundant proteins actually found in breast milk. We're the first and only U.S. made formula to use organic grass-fed whole milk, not skim. We even conducted the largest clinical trial by a new infant formula company in a quarter century with clinically proven benefits like easier digestion, less spit up, and softer poops versus a leading infant formula. And we make our own formula in the USA and our very own factories in Iowa, Oregon, and Pennsylvania. Byheart, a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. Chrissy, the only issue that I have with keeping that no more Frankie or pausing Frankie B is that Frankie B went away for a while. Right. And so it was an anything. easy break to take because I thought to myself, well, let's just take a pause from it. He's not doing anything anymore. We got to find a way to kind of break away. However, the, Frankie the has teat come back. came back. Yes. The it teat is. showed itself again. <laughs> hey, Frankie. <laughs> it's me, Carl. And I noticed you have like a creative fountain going on right now. It's like my dick. <laughs> I noticed you're jizzing all over YouTube with brand new videos. <laughs> Got that creative jizz going, boy. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna drop twenty five thousand dollars at your front door. I slept with your wife. Sorry about all that. <laughs> That's your fourth wife, wasn't it? I'm not sure. Anyway, I just thought I'd call and let you know. Hey, hey, Frankie. Talk to you soon. He has a creative fountain going on right now, and he is pumping out videos at an epic clip. Okay. I have to at least <laughs> just grab onto a couple of them and make it happen. I because think we have to. We might as well enjoy it while it's here. Because exactly. we never know when Frankie's going to start fountain, dating someone again. The fountain yeah. could cease. <laughs> Frankie's going to start dating someone. It's going to all go away in a hot minute. That's right. Because those girls are like, uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, oh. Hell no. You better take that shit and throw it in the trash, Frankie. So I was trolling oh, on the internet. Oh, as you do. As I do, Chrissy. And I tell you what, <laughs> guess what popped up onto my YouTube? Oh, Frankie B. God, giving was- more advice. On dating over fifty, almost all of his videos are now date are now named dating over, over fifty. 50. And <laughs> yes. they used to be more towards seventy, like yeah. sixty, seventy. But I'm guessing Frankie's in his late sixties. Yeah, you think so? I think. I mean, so. he looks good. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. He does. Got to give the guy credit where credit is due. Uh, he's got you know the tattoos, muscles. He's got nice veneers. Yeah, <laughs> he's got that barbed wire yeah. face going on. Yes. He is far more in shape than I ever have oh, been. Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. Frankie giving some dating advice for those of us over 50. This video, we're talking about dating advice for guys in their 50s and 60s. Let's face it. Most yeah, you're right. He like went from like 50s, 60s, and 70s. 70s. And then, yeah, now he's like edging it down, exactly. even though he's getting older. Yeah. Not really sure how that works. Men that age, we're not very versed on exactly what it takes to date because we haven't done it in a long time. We think we know, but honestly, do you? So in today's video, he's so kind of fucking sending. He really is. Honestly, do you know anything? You don't. You're just you a douchebag. <laughs> what did he say that one time? <laughs> He said, you, like, you're an asshole or something? <laughs> if you're not working out, you're an asshole. <laughs> if you are out on the dating scene and you're wondering, hmm, should I keep chasing her or should I let her go? That's a good question. You know, if you're... How many... How, what is that? You're in that weird space between getting <laughs> served paperwork is, and the yeah, police showing up at your say. door. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is his version of chasing? Oh, you know what his version of chasing he is. He just shows up. Yeah, but listen, he's about. Yeah, I listened to a couple minutes of this. You you gotta wait. He's basically saying if she's not paying one hundred percent attention to you, then she's got to go. Okay. Feeling a little uneasy about it. There's a reason why. And in this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how <laughs> I have also been rejected by thousands of women in the same manner. <laughs> If you're in that weird space between stalking and, <laughs> and relationship, I'm going to show you how to determine what to do next. I'll give you several signs that you need to look out for. Rocket. <laughs> rocket. <laughs> he added the rocket. <laughs> he, he speeds off on a car in uh, a convertible. He's so he bad. Rocket. It's so cheesy. It's so cheesy. I mean, he's, he's, he's yeah. working out. He's really... Yeah. Oh, he was He's putting some serum on his I face. Know. Was that him parasailing? Gentlemen, yeah, what that was him parasailing. <laughs> I think that's new. <laughs> that's new. What's new is the rocket. Rocket. <laughs> I need something to razzle dazzle him right at the beginning of the video. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, Bob. <laughs> Hey, Bob, it's me, Frankie. <laughs> Listen, I know we're supposed to go out drinking tonight, but I just had a brilliant idea. I woke up from a dream that I had. I've got an idea on how I can really get my subscribership to go way up. People are smashing the subscribe button. You know how? I'm going to be in the convertible, and I'm going to say, rock it, right before we get started. <laughs> it's going to resonate with the under oh, 80 yeah. crowd. <laughs> rock it. <laughs> What's going on and welcome to the video. If this is your first time here, my name is Frank Bernardo and this channel is built for all men in their 50s and 60s who want up their game, look and feel better about themselves in grooming fitness fans. Didn't he say one time too that, the, <laughs> that, the, that there were groups of men that would like have a viewing party of his videos? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that was... <laughs> <laughs> that was when he was talking about his business. He's like, if, uh, yeah. you're going to want to save this. And show it to your guy friends. You're going to want to get together with your friends and show them about this excellent business opportunity. Sweet. But I, I want to, it's, it's so sweet. But I want to point out that Frankie's introduction to his videos is now almost as long as the commercial breaks. <laughs> <laughs> And what is going on and welcome to the video. If this is your first time here, my name is Frank Bernardo and this channel is built for all men in their 50s and 60s who want to up their game, look and feel better about themselves in grooming, fitness, fashion and lifestyle. All right, so. <laughs> lifestyle. lifestyle. That's like when I am. got close yeah. to the camera. Money back guarantee. <laughs> Cheesy. Before we get into the video, real quick, if you like the content, do me a favor, subscribe to this channel, give the video a thumbs up. That's the like button that'll help my channel grow, and that's gonna enable me to get you. If you gotta teach your your viewers <laughs> what the thumbs up means, right? You know you're dealing with a different age group. I mean, yeah, yeah. the thumbs up button means like. Yeah, means like. <laughs> Hey, 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 you see where it says S-U-B-R-I-C-B-E? Do me a favor. Hit that button. It means subscribe. Great content for men in their 50s and 60s. Okay, so the first tip, and this is obviously the biggest sign. All right, if you're texting that woman. and I wow, to hear this. Did you see how big he opened his obviously. eyes? Yeah, obviously. I, I think that must take a lot of effort with all that Botox working in it his does, eyeballs. Yeah, yeah. Cause you notice when people who get a lot of Botox, it, their eyes are kind of stuck in a position. Yes. And when they have to make an expression, they really have to blow it up in order to get the point across yeah, because- him. It's fighting against the botulism in their fucking <laughs> face, poison. Yeah. which I will be doing soon. Yeah. By. I'd like to thank uh, like like Oak Tree Skin Care for the free botulism. She very rarely gets back to you. It might even be a day. I mean, that this a day, a day, a day. Very rarely does she get back to you. It might even be a day. Might even be 24 hours. I mean, wow. Chrissy. Yeah. Chrissy. <laughs> Chrissy. I, there was a couple of people that I have dated that if you didn't hear from them in the first five days, it was not abnormal. Like yeah. if you didn't hear from them in five days, it was not abnormal. Yeah. It, or just like a touch base every once in a blue moon. But yeah. there's some people that you date where it's just not that intense. It's exactly. not like hot and heavy and fiery. And that doesn't mean anything bad. 
if someone doesn't call you, if you're first dating somebody and they don't call you back in 24 hours, I don't think that's a reason to panic. Like the world is no. crashing. But listen to Frankie's okay. absolutely chauvinistic <laughs> explanation as to why this is. Okay. It's a dead sign that she's just not interested. Let's face it. That phone, it's never out of a woman's hand. She <laughs> sees your name. <laughs> You women, Chrissy. Wow. You women. <laughs> you always got that phone in your hand. Always taking selfies. You got a phone in one hand it. and a laundry yeah. basket in the other. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> While you're cooking. <laughs> While you're cooking me dinner. Come across, all right? If she was interested in you, what would she do? She would text you back. For everybody who is out on the dating scene, you know how this goes. When you she got interest, those texts, they're rolling back and forth. Those texts. Texts. <laughs> you put two S's on the Texas. Listen. <laughs> this is like my mom. <laughs> Are you sex Mexican me? What is a sex Mexican, mom? She says Texas too. Oh. Not interest. Those Texas, they're rolling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. If she's distant or even like a day behind and getting back to you, gentlemen, she's. If she's distant, if she's more than a mile away at any given time, <laughs> you've let too much space in between you. I mean, it's so crazy. It's so insane. It's Frankie, so Frankie, let me talk to you because I know you watch us. <laughs> Buddy, this is not a reason to freak out, dude. No. If you're dating someone, especially at the beginning of the relationship, let them have their time in their space. That's a number yeah, one way to, to kill a relationship is to smother somebody. No, exactly. You can't just automatically think somebody's going to get back to you right away. What if they're anything? Yeah. Doing anything other than just sitting there looking at their phone. They might have a job. They right. might have other people <laughs> in their life. They might be dating other I people. Mean, like, yeah. yeah. I always say let the let the other person set the pace, right? You'll you'll know. Yeah. And there's gonna be time when there's like bursts of attention, right? Where you just right. like you're you're texting for a couple you're of hours. You're drinking wine, you're, you're hanging wine, out. you're having fun, <laughs> you're doing a lot of cocaine right. by yourself, you have no one else to talk to. <laughs> you read your messages four times to make sure you didn't spell anything incorrectly. <laughs> Don't use emojis. Yeah. <laughs> Not interested in you. So tip number two, it has everything to do with texting again. Let's just say she does text you back, but she's getting back to you very, very slowly. Well, she's doing that deliberately. She's trying to send you a message. She's doing well, it. Yeah, she's trying to send you a text right, message. A te yeah, she's trying to write you back. <laughs> If you see those three three little dots for more than 30 seconds, guys, I'm telling you what, it's over. It's over. <laughs> My first three divorces happen like this. <laughs> On purpose, right? They're being friends. That said, it does drive me a little bit crazy when you see the three little dots and then they go away. And then you see the three little dots and they go away. And you're like, fuck, just send it already. You don't have to rewrite it. <laughs> They don't want to be too standoffish. They're trying to let you down easily. You would do the same. I would do the same. Open your eyes. Tip number three. I have a feeling you would not do the same, no, Frankie. Oh, he's hitting back immediately. <laughs> immediately he's hitting you back. Immediately. Yeah, unless he's doing a video. Like, see, what's yeah. happening with his text messages oh, right now? He's, he's, there's a cut every 30 <laughs> seconds. He's checking his text messages, trust me. He's probably got his phone right next to the camera. <laughs> he does. <Yeah. laughs> like his jitterbug <laughs> with the big writing. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to spend any alone time with you. You know, maybe you suggested going out to a bar, restaurant, movie, but she always wants to invite her friends. She, well, all, she always wants to invite security along. <laughs> if that's well, you're the not case. dating somebody. You're not dating you, somebody. Yeah, yeah, you're getting together with friends. Yeah, you're missing the biggest signal of all, which is she wants to remain friends. Right. Yeah, if you say, hey, you want to go out to dinner, and she says, great, with everybody else, yeah. <laughs> and she doesn't want to date you. It's not a date. Yeah, Dates don't dating. happen with friends. You're I mean, dating. unless you're on double date, right. and that's a different story. <laughs> if she wants to bring a police officer with her to every meeting, you're likely not in the sack. Always wants to be surrounded by her friends. All right. She's telling you that she doesn't want you. She's telling you I, she doesn't want to be alone. I mean, her friends. Yeah. So like, yeah. She, Frankie's like, do you want to go out? And she's like, do you care if I bring all my yeah. friends? <laughs> Pay for him too? Do you care yeah. if I bring my boyfriend I, along? 
<laughs> he just lost his job. You care if I bring my ex-husband? We need a yeah. dinner. <laughs> my ex-husband wants to go. Is that okay with you? <laughs> with you. She's telling you that maybe she's a party girl. All right? Oh, maybe- God. Here we go again oh, with the, the party, party girls. girls. Frankie's upset because he had one girl who decided she was more interested in fun than she was interested in him. Yes. And he couldn't take a hint. Yeah. And now he's all upset at everyone. Seriously, that's that exactly yeah, what happened. Of course. And now he <laughs> now he's been broken up with and his feelings are hurt. He had a girl for like, I'm gonna guess six to nine months that w- never committed to a relationship with him, mm-hmm. but went and had some fun times. Like they maybe they went to the beach and maybe they hooked up a couple times and you know, they went they traveled a little bit and Frankie wanted much more out of the situation than she did because yeah. she just wanted to have fun. Yes. And Frankie was upset because he couldn't <laughs> wrestle the phone out of her hands. <laughs> he was like, if she never includes you in any pictures on Instagram, she likely doesn't like <laughs> She's you. She's a party girl. You're right. <laughs> This is what she does. Be very careful of that. And also be very careful of these party girls because... Oh, my God, Frankie. it's the party girl. Your insecurities are coming through the screen, buddy. Come on. Call me, dude. We're going to talk this through. Like, I feel like I just yes. need to have a, like a phone call and let you just kind of work it out and I'll guide you along the path. And then afterwards, you'll feel a little better about what happened. You got involved with someone that didn't care for you as much as they care, as you cared for them. It's okay. It happens to it all happens of us. All the Don't time. make a video to get, get her angry because I guarantee you something. She has never going to watch this video ever. They make you feel better, but you're never getting back at her. They may want you to take them out to the dinner, but then they're going to want to meet at a venue with their friends. And once they get to that venue with their friends, guess what? She's going to be with the friends. And what are you going to be doing? You're going to be watching. So tip number four. (laughs) Oh, my God. You're going to be watching. I mean, I'm picturing this happening. (laughs) <laughs> hey, it's me, Frankie. I'm just leaving you another message. I'm over here on the other side of the bar, and they actually won't let me in the VIP area. Can you come over here? I thought we were hanging out. Okay, bye. Hey, it's me, Frankie. Listen, I'm getting a little bit upset now. They actually kicked me directly out of the club. They said that a group of girls in the VIP area didn't like the way I was looking at them. <laughs> okay. I mean, and I got your text message about a ride home, but I'm standing outside. <laughs> It's cold. Hey, it's me, Frankie. Okay, this is enough. It's 4.30 in the morning. I've been sitting in my car for three hours. <laughs> I, where are you? I took you to dinner. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I just saw you leave with the bartender. You still want me to wait for you? It's almost been 24 hours <laughs> since I heard from you. All right, call me back. I love you. Oh, my God. Hey, it's me. I'm waiting on the plane. I got that ticket to Cabo. Are you coming or no? Okay. All right. I'll keep calling <laughs> just in case. Oh, poor Frankie. I mean, the only thing I can think of, too, is that he dated a girl that was like 21. I mean, that's well, she the looked only young. way this would happen in that she's like, hey. Yeah, check this guy out. Yeah, he, he's paying he's for he's everything. He's paying for everything, but he's, I don't really want to be with them. I'm going to meet up with my friends later. And listen, we have most of us in life will come across this at some point. It doesn't have to do with young people. There's someone who's just not that interested, but they hang on to you just yeah. tight enough to make you interested, <laughs> yes. and then they take advantage of all the things you have to yes. offer, right? <laughs> like, when, when they're having a bad day, they'll call, and they'll be happy to give you all of their bullshit, but when you call, they're too busy to talk to you. Yes. We've all been through this, <laughs> right? But making YouTube videos to get back at them, it's like kind of childish a little bit. Because there's only one person in the world he's talking to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. There's only one person in the world he's talking to, and it's this girl that has dumped him. Exactly. And it's so transparent. And now he's making 10 of them. I mean, it's <laughs> like he's going over for This it. party girl. Yeah. This <laughs> party girl. She won't respond to him anymore, so he's got time to make the YouTube videos. Exactly. She doesn't reciprocate anything. You know, if you're dating a girl for a while, and she can't even pull out a nickel out of her purse to buy you a drink, Every once in a while, if you are the one constantly, a nickel. Why do you use that a nickel. Analogy? Yeah, don't I, use that nickel. a nickel. First of all, what if, what if she with did? inflation, there's. I mean, <laughs> dollar beer yeah. night at the bar is like thirty dollar beer night at the bar now. First of all, second of all, this is a weird expression. Oh, no. Yeah. 
and in your pocket and she's enjoying it. She never offers. That's not right. Most women will not do that. And that, that's totally wrong. Astrid never paid for a thing no. when we dated. Yeah. Not because Astrid couldn't pay for a thing. Not because Astrid didn't he, offer to pay he, for a thing. Exactly. Because well, he, that's I, what he's saying, the offering. Oh, okay. I guess. Well, all right. Offer. Well, I mean, if you're flashing your cash around. Well, right. Yeah, then, I mean, what is she supposed to do? Busting through yeah. walls. Don't be mad when someone takes you up on your generosity. <laughs> yeah. That's a little shitty. Yeah. Like, they're the problem now. You offered. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm just looking at my spreadsheet here while I'm waiting for you out of the club. And I'm, we're about $1,000 in the me category. I was wondering if you could, I mean, all right. Throw me a nickel. Throw me a nickel every once in a while. I'm just here doing some work while I'm waiting for you. Okay, call me back. But it's okay. If you come back outside right now, I'll just wipe it all away. We'll get started again. <laughs> we got to come out now, like in the next five minutes. Okay, it's been like 15 minutes, and I guess you didn't take me up on my last offer, so... I'm putting the gasoline I'm running. I'm putting that on the spreadsheet, too, just letting you know that. Remember, we got to go to Cabo tomorrow. Okay, talk to you later. If she doesn't precipitate, she has no interest in you, and she's never going to do it. What she's doing is she's taking advantage of you, advantage of the situation, advantage of the dinners. Are you taking her on vacations? Does she uh, have a vacation? Told you. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting good at this, Chrissy. I know, we're getting I know. really yeah, I good like at this. I know him. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I feel like we know. Yeah, we I mean, listen, we're not. There's the lots psyche. of people who have been doing this for a lot longer than we have, and they're really good <laughs> at breaking down videos, right? But I feel like we we're starting to get a, a groove mm. here. We're starting to understand the, the ebb and the flow of these personalities. <laughs> And Frankie's so transparent. Really I mean, is. he's so transparent. Yeah, he, and notice, too, he took down the picture because he used to, in the very beginning, have that picture. Picture too. of that woman? Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, and in him in Cabo smoking a cigar. Oh, yeah. Drinking a martini with that girl. That's right. That no was the longer. party girl. I'm assuming. We're assuming. <laughs> and then he showed her in one video, yes. and she literally blocked her face <laughs> yeah. from the camera. She was like, don't do that. I don't want to be a party here. So then he went and talked about the potted plants. <laughs> yeah, then he talked about the right. <laughs> But also, I want you to notice in this video, look how red he's getting talking yeah, about this he situation. Is. He's, he's hot. Eat it. Eat it. Even say, hey, let me get you a drink on vacation. If she can't what do a, that, or, gentlemen. I you went to an all inclusive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you went to an all inclusive resort. Which drink are you kidding? <laughs> Frankie. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I give up on you, Frankie. <laughs> She's not interested in you. Number five. You know, you five. ask her out. Did we get to five already? I thought that was like three. Well, I think that's the problem with Frankie is that he just keeps talking. <laughs> a. I don't believe it's A. <laughs> Number two. two. <laughs> C, four. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> 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 I got bingo. I got Frankie Bingo. Let's play Frankie Bingo one day. We absolutely should. Yeah, we yes, should. We should put yes. words that he says frequently, yes. and then if we, and then we'll make two cards. Party, I'll get Gustavo to do this. Is, yeah, party girls. Right party girls. He's gonna have twelve different party girls. <laughs> Something to do, and she goes. I gotta check my calendar. You know, she could look the phone check her calendar, and then she says, you know, let me get back to you. Well, what she's telling you right then and right there, if that happens to you, all right, she doesn't <laughs> want to go out with you. She's already. You don't say. <laughs> let me check my calendar. Oh, um, let me get back to you. Pretty booked until yeah. February. Are you paying? <laughs> yes. Oh, actually, look at that. Someone Start just canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just canceled for two weeks in January. <laughs> oh, you got it. I feel for you, Frankie. I, yeah. got, I got it. I, you you yeah. got a girl that was disinterested and you Took fell for her much. hard and she had no interest in what yeah. in you. But she went along for the ride and we're all she guilty did. of this on yes. occasion. <laughs> We've all been there. Yes. <laughs> Lord knows I'm not immune. I've, ta <laughs> I've been on a few rides. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. come on, let's calm it down. Yeah. Making an excuse. Let's face it. We've all been out with women. When you find that woman that really attracts you, you'll do anything for her. You'll do anything. Oh, 
to get that next date. Get Correct? That ass. You'll bury her ex husband's <laughs> body and throw away all the murder weapons somewhere in the north of Chicago. That's all. We've all been there. We've all been there. We've We've all taken out large loans to pay for your education. (laughs) So you say. We've all sent you and six of your friends to the penthouse at the MGM Grand for a long week in Vegas. (laughs) Bailed you out when you couldn't pay for the cards. We've all been there, guys. Right? Am I right? (laughs) Smash that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button if you're $150,000 in. Even if you got a date already lined up, but this woman is what you really got your eyes set on, you're going to do everything in your power to make that happen. And if that woman is interested in you, she would do the same. Right, gentlemen, so the- oh my God, he's so angry. He's very angry. He's very angry. This is way this fresh. This all happened. Yeah. It, this is a true story. Yes, it's a true story. <laughs> and we've already figured out that about Frankie's ex-wives, yeah. <laughs> Frankie's bad relationships. Yeah. Oh, Frankie, yeah. you need a hug, brother. Oh, no. Come on down to the commercial break <laughs> studios. Give me one hour of time on the air, and I, I will talk this all out together. Yes. Sixth and final tip. It's the dreaded. This isn't a tip. This is you telling a story. These are not tips. <laughs> this is you sharing right. how pain, how much pain you're in over your breakup. <laughs> this is yeah. not fifty uh, dating to dating tips for over fifty. This is yeah. Frankie's life story. Yeah. <laughs> friend word all right she talks to you like uh, you know what you're i like you as a friend or what a good friend you are if well, someone says you're it. a friend and you're a friend no way <laughs> how much more clear could they be and now and now you're the idiot yeah. dude <laughs> if you keep paying for dinner and sending her on <laughs> luscious vacation <laughs> and she keeps saying you're a great Her friend, friend. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, oh Chrissy, imagine how different our relationship would have been if one of us was just paying for everything and no. calling frequently. And... People, we were both yeah. broke. We were yeah, that's true. Channel. That's true. No one had anybody back then. You were like, I got $10. And I'm like, I got 10 Do you want to buy a, a suitcase of Bud Light? Light. Yep. And go to the Braves game where we can drink for free. Yes. No, I got a better. Let's let's take that twenty dollars and get a parking pass for the Braves game where we know we can drink for free. Right. Oh, life was easy back then. Um, listen, if they start doing that, they're sending you a signal. Open they're your not, eyes. If you go they're to, saying, they're not sending a signal. They're, they're telling you directly. You're, a friend. you're just a friend. That's all I think yeah. of you as. When you're with somebody. And they say the word friend over and over again. They're doing that deliberately. That's not a signal. That's reminding you that they have no interest in your cock. (laughs) That's it. They do not want to schlob in any part of your noggin. They want you to keep paying for everything. (laughs) If you want. Yeah. I mean, mean, that's it. A function. Listen to how angry he is. Hold on. Listen to how angry he is. They're sending you a signal. Open yeah. your. Oh my God! He's like screaming at the camera. He's so Open like, your eyes! Open your eyes, Diane. <laughs> you broke my heart. I want you back. I'll do anything. I'll to get take it all back. <laughs> you just call me. <laughs> oh, I got my jitterbug open right now. Text me. You know my number. Eyes. If you go to a function, a get together, I, I don't care where you're at, and she can't introduce you as her boyfriend. If you've been dating three, four, six months, she can't. Jeez, if you've been dating for three six months and she doesn't call you no. anything but a friend, then you're not dating, no. Frankie. Yeah, that's not dating. <laughs> That's hanging out with somebody, yeah, dude. Yeah, as a friend. Yeah, as a friend. If you're paying, that's on you. That's yeah, on you. It really is. She keeps telling you she's a friend. <laughs> yeah, this is my friend. Introduce you as her boyfriend. Know, that's it. Frankie B. Here he is. My friend. Oh, you know him from YouTube? He's not really my friend. I just met him at the bar a couple months ago. Yeah, three, he's, four, six months. Yeah, he's just paying for my rent. <laughs> he's just, he's my landlord. <laughs>
Well, what is that telling you? It's telling you that she has no romantic long-term interest in you. How about you? If you went to a function, guys, wouldn't you grab your girlfriend? Oops, you went to a function, guys. Wouldn't you grab your girlfriend? Wouldn't you bring her and say, hey, this is my girlfriend, this Mary. Wouldn't you do that? Girlfriend. This is my girlfriend. <laughs> he tried to do it on that one YouTube he video. <laughs> and she was like, ah, 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 ah. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't you dare show my face on your stupid videos. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, you know everyone. I'd like to make it an outside. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming to dinner at this beautiful restaurant. <laughs> Not even sure what the name of it is. I just wanted to make an announcement. She's my girlfriend. <laughs> just friends. God, she's my friend. That's a girl. <laughs> I.e. girlfriend. Nope, just friends. <laughs> and she likes to play games. <laughs> No one look at her or talk to her. Don't text her. She's mine. I have her phone in my pocket. Because if she starts texting, it's a sure sign she doesn't like She's me. She's a party girl. I've been avoiding all the other signals. <laughs> Just friends. See, she said a girlfriend. Friend that's a girl. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Back to your dinner now. Oh, my God. Oh, Frankie. Right? Because you're proud. You're proud of what that looks like. You're happy with it. You what want that, a relationship. What that what? What that looks, what? Like. What that looks, looks like? like? What is she? I know. Like a, a dead a, dog? <laughs> That's like a stuffed animal? <laughs> a painting you made? I'm proud I mean, of what yeah, that looks that like. Looks like. Yep. I'm proud of what my house looks like. I'm <laughs> proud of what a painting that I bought looks like. I'm not proud of a person. <laughs> But if that woman is not precipitating the same way with you, she's sending you a blatant message. Yes. Yes. It's That's not right. long term. Yes. You're not my girlfriend, my boyfriend. <laughs> you got to get out of the friend zone. All right, gentlemen, and any ladies who have happened uh, to watch this video, and if there are ladies watching this video, come on, come on, girls, snap it up. You know, if you don't like the guy, do us a favor. Dismiss us, all right? So you Quit. Mean say you're oh friends? my God! You mean say you're yeah. you're just a friend? If you if you <laughs> I don't know what else the ladies. Can if do. you just want to be friends with somebody, <laughs> make sure you tell them you're just friends. And if you tell them you're just friends, <laughs> tell them another time. Tell them more. Dismiss tell them, yeah. us. Dismiss us. <laughs> I'm proud of that. <laughs> oh, oh wow. well. Frankie's done it again. Frankie has topped himself. He just keeps doing it. He's coming unglued on <laughs> on his YouTube channel. <laughs> I mean, he oh, really was man. upset. And I have one more video from him on ways to be your best over 50. And I have a, th I'll bet, bet you $1,000 that he starts talking about party girls on that video oh, yeah, also. Yeah, for sure. Gotta be, right? For he's sure. coming unglued right here on YouTube. <laughs> I feel like I want to reach out to him and just make sure he's okay. Like, hey, Frankie, <laughs> go back to the cooking videos, dude. <laughs> those, are, those are that's pretty, uh, you know, it's low risk, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> low reward all, environment. Did, like the workout one, yeah, the, yeah. Whenever he's been broken up with, yep. though, that's when these come out. That's when these come out. But when what? he's in the when he's dating some people, he's like, okay, I'll just do a cooking video. He starts doing boring content yeah. when he's with Which somebody. Which are still funny. They're still good. <laughs> because Frankie is Frankie, and you gotta love him. You gotta love him. Frankie a little P. bit chauvinistic, possibly a little bit out of touch with <laughs> reality, but you gotta love him. And he, hey, listen, Yeah, he's a professional <laughs> businessman. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket. Oh, my God. Hey, listen, uh, if you're new to the commercial break, thanks for listening. We're grateful for every single one of you. We really appreciate it. We're rounding the corner yes. toward the end of season three and Woo. heading into season four. I'm so excited. What do we do, like 2,000 episodes this year? <laughs> it feels something? like it. It feels like it. <laughs> I know. Do us a favor. Smash that subscribe button on your favorite podcast player and do... Please write into us if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or more importantly, content ideas. Send them to yeah. tcbpodcast.com. Hit the contact us button. Write us an email. Tell us a story. Ask us a question. Want our advice? We'll give it to you. It's bad. Get what you pay for, <laughs> but we'll send it to you. Or you can hit us up on the phone line, 661 237 8296. 661, the word best, the number two, Y O YO. Not a spam text message line. That goes right to one of our phones. Directly. And directly. And we us. will respond 
at some point. Probably. Most likely. We'll <laughs> yes. respond. Let's just within 24 NASA. hours. Yeah, within 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, don't take Frank's uh, advice. We're, that's we're, in, right. we're, we're interested uh, in your signal. YouTube.com slash the commercial break. And I guess that's all I can do for today, Kristen I Joy. Think so, oh, Brian. Well, I love you. I love you. Best to you. Best to you. And best to you out there in the podcast universe. Until next time, Chrissy and I always say, we do say, and we must say, bye. bye. What's the easiest choice you can make? Window instead of middle seat? Picking a vendor who sends a great gift basket? Outsourcing business tasks you hate? What about selling with Shopify? Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage. All the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage? Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try. Go to shopify.com slash try now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash try.